Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Menya True Nerd, and welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode Four: Dark Room. We are down here on the beach. Last time, we finally got our revenge on Nathan, and Warren gave him one hell of a beatdown, which I felt was one deserved, and two might actually put a little bit of humility and vulnerability into Nathan, whose problem in life is probably that he feels invincible and untouchable so I think actually that might do him the world of good so now we've come to Frank for the final little piece of the puzzle unfortunately Chloe's armed and so is Frank so I'm worried this could go very badly indeed now let's have a look if there's anything interesting here first we're really worried about the whales all the time in this game everyone's always talking about how the whales have beached themselves and the thing is Whales occasionally beat themselves they get confused an entire pod gets confused and they accidentally put themselves onto the beach. That happens. We're busy more concerned about the fact that a solar eclipse happened, but apparently NASA couldn't explain it, suggesting that the moon didn't cause it. In which case, what bloody blocked out the sun? We should be deeply more worried about that. I'm also deeply worried, of course, that, well, while I definitely think it was the right thing to do, um, his dog's still alive uh, in this universe because the dog wasn't hit by a truck. But, oh dear, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Right, let's do this. Chloe, let's see what we need to do. What, do we, what is her plan? Frank, we owe Frank money and we don't have the money. And Frank, I don't know if he's going to know that we robbed him, but I don't know if he's going to notice oh, the stuff that went missing last time. Wonder, twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. Wow, that was easy. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Funny you should mention that. Um, <laughs> you already did. No, 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 don't, no, don't do that. Don't do that now. Uh, I should probably navigate this conversation carefully. Help or else? No, 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 no. Um, I'm sorry you don't get it. Uh, yeah, let's see if I don't get, you don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? This isn't going well. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh, 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 oh no! Uh-oh, oh, 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 who, who just got shot and why? Who just got shot? Did Max just get shot? Frank just got shot. Oh, well, was there any way to save the dog? I know Frank's lying on the ground. My first consideration is, was there any possible combination of episode three and four where the dog lives? Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. Which is fine. Take the keys, get what you need, get the information at the RV, and then rewind, get out, then rewind time. No, no, you... It was self-defense for both of us. Time travel! Frank is really dead. Not for long. But Not in the past. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Get code. Rewind time to before dead. Why is this a problem? Let's get out of here. No, don't get out of here. Rewind time. Why is everyone forgetting we can... Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We've got we've got the time travel powers. We've got the information we need. And now we go back in time to before any of it happened. There we go. Done. 
So wait, am I not allowed to do that? Am I not... But every single previous instance of time travel, we've been able to take something and then rewind to before we took it. Such as, literally the last time we dealt with Frank, I provoked him, got the keys, then rewound. I still had the keys on my person, but he didn't know I'd taken them. Have the rules of... T okay, the game is... The game's taking the mick if the rules of time have just changed. Because we know from multiple instances in this very short game that you can take something off someone's body, then rewind to beforehand, okay? We know that's a thing. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You see, oh God, I, I know I'm a horrible, horrible person to say this. If only we'd killed the dog in episode three. We don't need to watch your mouth because it's not, it's not Chloe that causes a problem. But try getting rid of the gun. If she doesn't have the gun, maybe the situation won't escalate. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Okay, now, what's going to happen this time? Okay, we, we can skip to the, for the first chat. Yeah, 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 skip to the first the first actual conversation tree. So, wait, hang on. That, that, why have I just skipped to that? That wasn't what happened last time. Close the door. Yeah, close, okay, well, uh, I assume we've got to the same point as last time. So, where we've been at, I guess we've got to the same point as last time where he asked why we were here. So, let's close the door to avoid the dog getting involved. Frank, uh... Your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That uh, figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at? Yes, okay, so we were able to, we were able to do that first. Um... Help us. I apologise, because it sounded like he got angry because we were, like, presumptuous and he thought black quote students thought they knew it all. So if I just apologise to him, that's probably the easiest way. Yes. Ooh. Wait. Oh, when I say I already did, does that mean I can... I could freak him out by taking the keys, rewinding, and then showing him I've already got them? That, uh, that would be quite interesting. But let's see if apologising just works. Listen, Frank... I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Dave dog Bone. No, don't mention that. He'll know that you flipping seen the dog before. Uh, dog rescue. Pompidou's cute. Trying to kill. Yeah, dog rescue. He, we know he's an animal lover. If you say something about dog rescue, that's probably an all be an okay place to go. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. <laughs> that's amazing. No, all right. It was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? 
Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Okay, this is going better. This is going better. Um, no one's pulling any guns. No one's dying. He seems to be pretty cool with the situation right now. Now, I don't want to confront him because it seems he gets aggressive if he's challenged. So what are you hiding doesn't seem like a good idea. Rachel's letter. No, we can't tell him about Rachel's letter because he can't know that we broke into his RV and stole anything. But we know about the bracelet. We could ask him about the bracelet, why he has the bracelet. Though I guess now we know because him and Rachel were in a relationship. But let's try it. You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Well, that could have gone better. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. No, no, no. This has gone a bit wrong. Oh, gosh. Is someone going to get shot again? Gosh. Yeah, you actually shot me. I wasn't going to hurt you. Oh, this fucking hurts. Oh, it hurts. He did literally just tell me don't shoot and don't pull a gun unless you're ready to kill. He just told us that. What do you want? We we just want the code for your account book. Now. Define whatever. Just, just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just, just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or... No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. No, 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 no. I feel like we might be able to get a better resolution than that. I want to go for a better resolution. Chloe, you don't need a second gun. You've got enough guns. Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Well, I don't know. She's now got two guns. She's ready to dual wield against him. But I'm going to see if I can get a better resolution by being a bit more diplomatic. Okay, her getting rid of the gun worked well. We're going to do that again. Closing the RV door worked well. Let's do that again. Okay, go down the apology route again. Worked well. Again, the dog rescue. That went well. That seemed to get him to stay calm. Now... You know Rachel. Let's not confront him about anything. Just tell him you know Rachel. Let's keep this nice and calm. Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Okay. I think we've got a good resolution. I'm guessing we still owe the money, though. Oh, my. Wow. Thank yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. This went Sorry much better than expected. Seriously. I'm guessing the reason I got a good resolution was because I knew about him rescuing the dog animals from speaking in detail with the cop in the previous episode. So that's good. And now Chloe has got all the guns. <laughs> Chloe is again ready to go dual wielding. Okay, so Chloe has... Chloe got the gun off Nathan. Voluntarily was given the gun by Frank, who feels like he will not be dangerous. If anything, he might be a useful ally to us. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about the resolution to this part. Indeed. Let's go. Yeah, let's leave the beach. I'm feeling really good about this. 
perfect resolution. I can't think how that could have possibly have gone better. Voluntarily gives us the code book. Voluntarily gives us the gun. Seem to not be angry at all. No one got shot. Way better than I was expecting. Now, using all that information, what can we figure out? Because I'm guessing we still have to go to the party, given that was in the trailer, or rather the snippet from the end of last time. So now, what was Frank? We just got a message from Frank, didn't we? SMS, what's Frank got to say? Also, Courtney, what have you got to say? Uh, oh, is Courtney... Wait, is she the person we talked into letting us into the Vortex Club party? I think so. Oh, Max admits to her mother that, unfortunately, uh, the plant died. The plant died. Poor Lisa... That's the greatest tragedy of all. I wonder what proportion of people who play this game actually managed to keep uh, managed to keep Lisa alive the whole game. So, just wish Chloe luck with your search. What well, little luck I have left. Thanks, Frank. Okay, stop by then if you both want a party. I feel like we've managed to turn him into an ally. This is brilliant news. I feel like this is the best possible resolution to the Frank subplot. Okay, good. I'm feeling good about this whole thing. Excellent news. Now, Frank's clues, Nathan's clues... Now we just need to do some investigating. Right, what do we want to start? Let's start with Frank's because we've already just done that. So, ooh, gather information on a character by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So we've got to select two clues that are relevant that when fitted together give us an answer. Well, the account book's got to be part of it. Oh, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Okay, now where and we've got this paper that he gave us, right? For sure. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Okay, well. here we go. So we've got the code book and we've got the conversion chart. So now we can select that and we can select the code book. Yes. Now the two of them together all. obviously give us the answer Talk that we need. Now, what does the account book actually mean, then? What do we learn from it? Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Okay, what do we have here? So, basically, we need to find rot, don't we? We need to find, yeah, so there's a, there's a rot in that one. So, that's fine. Select that. Here we are. There's rot again. Okay, there's our answer, then. So, those three are the ones that have Nathan's deals. That's it, Max. But what does that tell us, the fact we know the times and places and values of those? What does that actually mean? All right, well, let's let's keep going. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Okay, so Kate's stuff is irrelevant to that. Well, that's got to be part of it, the uh, the locations that we got out of the uh, the garage locker. Well, that's the only one that's actually got a picture of uh, Nathan in it, so that feels like that's got to be somewhat relevant. Not this one. Ah, one of these license plates will be Nathan. Okay, so I feel like these three? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. So, hopefully that's... As I've moved them over, that means that's what I needed to do. Now, what do you need me to do here? Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Just need to find a picture with Nathan in it, I'm guessing. This one looks like it's... This one looks like it's got people in it here. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Wait, an SUV? Oh, in the alternate universe, Chloe was run off the road by someone in an SUV. Oh, did Nathan potentially cripple Chloe in universe B? Oh, that would be interesting if so. Right, so, we know that the SUV that's got the bandage on it, because we saw it in that photo, that's the one that we want. Yes, that is the, uh, that's what we need. So, we now we know that it's the S, uh, the SXFT, is that F-O-R or F-D-R? Not sure. Oh, wait, hang on, we can use the read function. So, sorry, um, N-D-R, sorry. So, now we know that's the license plate. Now, can we associate that... With some of these. Here we are. This one. This is the tracking for that car. Okay. So we've got... That's the car in question. And then... Well, then there's these two photos of... Nathan. But I guess drug dealing is probably the bigger one. Let's try that. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay, not that. Maybe this one, maybe if I just have to highlight this one of Nathan driving said car. Oh, yes. Yes, okay, good, that was it. So now I've got locations for Nathan. 
Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Okay, and now we've got a whole bunch of addresses. Lovely. Now, final set, Nathan's Clues. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. So the phone's an obvious okay. one. What can the phone tell us? Wait, what do I... Okay, fine. So the pho phone's an obvious one. Yeah, that, that's a given. Fine. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got various bits of paper. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Yeah, we'll select that, obviously. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. No, no, no. Oh, wait, sim pin. Oh, no, no, no. He he'll have changed it. He'll have changed it. Don't be ridiculous, Max. Then we're not going to assume that. If there is a dark room, we better find it. The dark room, breached in the dark room drawing is damn creepy. Right, well, it's got to be something connected to that. I would assume it might be this one. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Oh, so we're literally doing nothing but numbers at the moment. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, de we'll deselect that one in favour of just the three that have numbers in them. I, I must have missed something. Wait, that one didn't have numbers in it. Sorry, this one had numbers in it. Okay. Those are the three that have the numbers. Okay, that moves over to the other side. Let's start hacking. So now I just need to know the code. This one's easy. That was just 111. Yes, okay. Phone. Let's unlock with what? One, one. Yes, there we are. One, one, one. Wait. One. Oops. Bad code. Okay, never mind. Worth a go. This one is the obvious one to my mind. The scribbled piece of paper. Uh, so the 9535, given it's circled, seems like a logical one. So 9535. Okay. Three, five. Yeah. Done. Oh, wait. Hang on. What's going on here? What's the... What's the what's the P-U-K? What? Uh-oh. What have I just done? What have I just done? Uh, wait, was that the correct pin, but there's something else required? Why does he have so many phone numbers? Who would have this many phone numbers? Well, the one at the bottom there says cell phone, so 555-1010. All right, I'll give it a go. Wait, that's not enough numbers. That's not enough numbers. Oh, it's on this thing. I'm such an idiot. Um, oh, flip. That's a difficult number to remember. 87897808. Oh, that's such a difficult number. Booyah. Okay, good. Managed to actually get that one right. Now, what do we need? Luckily, we don't need to actually go through the, uh, you don't actually need to, uh, go through the, uh, the phone. We can just use the next function. So, what's up? Need the G to somebody. Cool bitch, you sold me water. Wait, hang on. Um, is that... So that's Frank, I guess? I'm guessing. Uh, maybe the read function tells me who. No, it doesn't. Okay, next. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Yep, fine. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Don't have house calls, you have a car. Uh, no time charge me double, have cash on you, give me the address, I'll call to give you the exact directions. Okay, so Frank was delivering plenty of drugs to Nathan. Okay, so a whole bunch of messages related to drug dealing and so forth, and we know that he was involved in trying to get drugs for the party, but I don't think there's anything that useful in there that we can use for anything. How does that all fit together? Okay, oh no, we've got, oh, we've got Mega Investigate. All right, Max is just going to figure this out by herself. Excellent. Take now. a breath, Max. Oh, Flip. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Oh, Flip. Now, okay. What are we doing here? Uh, Rach, uh, Blackwell through... Okay, we need to figure out the one that was related to the party, right? Okay, I'm feeling like this one's the important one because he needs to score ASAP. We're saying he was happy to charge double, wanted to keep the address on the phone. So I feel like this is important. However, what this one tells us is that it happened on the 4th of October at about 20 past 10 in the evening. So that gives us a time, which is important. So we just need to find the entry in the book connected to that. Here we are. This would be that then. So this was what was given here. That was at about 11pm that night. Okay. 
Then we just need to find a location. Did the beach stack up with that? No, uh, no, the beach is all the wrong days. I'm going to guess, if I check here, the 4th at 10.56pm. Yeah, that is the right date and time for mixing this together. Is that right? Yes, I am a genius at clues. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. So, called Frank, collected drugs, nope. went to nothing that Max. place. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. In all fairness, the Prescott's own everything in the town. That's been a major plot point. Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. And you have two guns. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I hope she gets that, because my power does run out of dramatic moments. And here we are going to the mystery barn. Where I'm guessing something very bad is going to be happening. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa. Check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Pretty hefty lock. Probably not getting in that way. Alright, it would appear that we have found the place, but we need to find our way in. And next time, I think we're getting into this barn and finally solving this little... Uh, I'm guessing this is the conclusion of the episode. This feels like the good dramatic conclusion. So here we are at the flipping... Uh, the same... Yes, it looked at, it looked in the preview suspiciously like the barn from the uh, the first episode of The Walking Dead, the Telltale series, but uh, it's much bigger, much bigger in fact. So we will go in here next week and figure out what is to be done in there. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. It's been many a true nerd, and this has been the next part of Life is Strange Darkroom. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Good dodge, good dodge, man. Question is, can you keep it up, cop? Oh, no, you can't. Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Didn't quite get that one, though. We are going to the gun store in style. Oh, where's my partner? Oh, he's not here. Oh, so long, loser. <laughs>